<laughs> I'm just kidding. No, I'm kidding. This is my third 236 CC that I'm building. And I'm just preparing to do some clearance work for this uh, this rod right here. It's making contact right there. Focus right there, but yeah. And obviously over here. So I just gotta just marking it and just preparing to uh, use my Dremel. So it's good to just take a little at a time because it's you can't add material usually unless you're a welder. So you want to take a little at a time so you don't take too much off. But this looks pretty good. I'm just going to probably clean it up a little bit more at the top. Right over here, pretty much where it kind of gets close. But yeah, everywhere else is pretty good. There's usually play in the crank, but once the side cover, the play goes away. But yeah, I'm just gonna do a little one more, one more on that side mainly. It's pretty good, but So the cam is making contact right there where that marking is and right there where that marking is. So I gotta grind these parts down so that it clears the rod. Normally I would grind into my lobe to clear the crank, but I this time I grinded the crank down. You can see right there. Grinded it right there and on the other side as well because I found out on one of my other motors that I was making contact on this lobe as well. So just to prevent me from doing more grinding, like I was saying earlier, dyno cams, their cam become, comes with a way skinnier lobe so you don't even have to really grind into the uh, crank but small engine cams has a way thicker lobe. So sometimes you have to grind into the cam or the, the lobe as well. And a lot of the times, if you're leaving the compression release on, a lot of the times this part of the crank, this looks like it's kind of clearance a little bit more for some reason. Mm -hmm. But this part of the crank will hit this pin, or like just a lot of the pins here. So a lot of times I grind this down as well not too much though because you want it to still hold the spring but I grind this down as well just so it clears that better protecting Taping up the cams. The lobes. The lobes of the cam. Um, so yeah, I can, and, so I can uh, do some sketchy stuff. See how it's like skinny now? I think it's hitting it right there. Yeah. 
Man, I got so many splinters in my family. Oh, it's definitely hitting something. Or is it just... Okay. I know exactly where it's hitting, Brody. Second area where it's heading. Probably on the other side too. Okay, yeah, well, we got clearance on this side now. Now that I'm done with all the clearance work, I'm just going to take apart everything and clean out all the shavings and um, put the rings back on the, the piston because they're not on there right now. So it's easier to, you know, just turn everything over and it's going to go for the final assembly and should be ready. There was a lot of clearance work, obviously, you know, the crank, the cam the block but yeah once everything's good and everything will spin over freely and it's pretty much good to go one of the other common modifications is drilling this small hole out to like you know a bigger hole to let oil flow better so i'm just going to go ahead and do that real quick and this is what it looks like after i drilled it out so it doesn't build up so much pressure all right now that i got everything cleaned up all the clearance is done, crank, can, we're ready for final assembly. Got the rings on the piston, installed the piston and rod, about to torque down the rod bolts with their torque sequence. 60 to all the way to 170, 20 increments at a time. And yeah. Got the lifters and cam in there and just about ready to put the side cover back on and torque it down.
the crank seal installed. I just lapped the flywheel, as you can tell. It's looking good. Just gotta put the flywheel key back on and torque everything down. Got the flywheel nut torqued down to 6570 foot pounds. Put the coil on and set the coil gap and just gotta slap the head on and set valve lash. It's pretty much good to go. Got my gasket maker on the gasket, letting it tack up on there for a little bit. And just gonna slap it on and torque down the head. Got the roller rockers installed, set valve lash. Everything seems to clear. 